everybody and thank you so much for watching. Also thanks to Stacy James, Stonecrest Quilt and Chen Waz. Today we will make one of my favorites, this absolutely gorgeous boho poncho. This beautiful bohemian poncho is made with four squares. And you can put them together and they make the front, the back and the two sleeves. After we made the four squares, we will add a border around the bottom of our poncho and make a turtleneck with the same pattern. My squares measure 15 inches across and 20 and a half inches diagonally. My bohemian poncho is 34 inches wide and 34 inches long, but you can always add more rounds. The turtleneck I've made measures 11 inches across and it's 7 inches long, but you can also make that longer. I used Chloe Golden Sunset from Yarnbee. Here's the yarn information and I used a hook a little smaller than suggested. Let's make the first square. Start by making a slip knot. Then chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go back into your first chain and make a slip stitch and start round one. Chain three for the first double, then make 15 more doubles into the ring. So all together with a chain of three, we will have 16 double crochet. We have 16 doubles. Go into the third chain and make a slip stitch and start round two. Chain three for the first double crochet. Then chain two more for the chain space. Make a double into the next double crochet. And chain two. And repeat that sequence all the way around. Make a double into the next double. Chain two. Make doubles into all of the doubles. And chain two. This way we will have 16 chain spaces at the end of round two. Finish round two with a chain of two and make a slip stitch into the first chain space but from the back to the front. Go behind the chain of three and through the loop and start round three with a chain of three that replaces our first front post double crochet. Then make two doubles into the first chain space one and two. Make a front post double crochet around the previous double and double crochet two into the chain space one and two front post double around the previous double and two doubles into the chain space. Make that pattern 16 times. Make the front post doubles around the doubles and two doubles into the chain spaces. Finish round three with two double crochet into the last chain space and make the front post slip stitch again from the back to the front. Go through that chain space pull behind the chain and through the loop and start round four with a chain of one for the first front post single. Then chain three more. Skip the two doubles and around the front post double make a front post single crochet. Chain three. Skip two doubles, one, two, and make a front post single around the front post double. Chain three. Skip the two doubles, make a front post single around the front post double and chain three and now you can repeat that sequence until you have it 16 times. Finish round four with a chain of three and make a slip stitch from the back to the front through the first chain space. Pull behind the chain and through the loop and start round five with a chain of three for the first front post double crochet. Then double crochet three into the next chain space. One, two, and three. Make a front post double around the front post single. Make sure you're going into the right spaces around the front post single. Make the front post double and then again into the next space. Make three double crochet. One, two, three and repeat until you have it 16 times. Make the front post double around the front post single and three doubles into the chain space. Finish round five with three double crochet into the last chain space and make the front post slip stitch around a chain of three and start round six with a chain of three to replace the first front post double crochet. Skip the first double, go into the second double and make a double crochet. Chain four 
and into the same double the second double make another double crochet we have a v-stitch skip the third double crochet and start the sequence over make a front post double around the previous front post double skip the next double crochet make a double into the second double chain four and again make a double into the second double so we get that little v-stitch skip the third double front post double around the previous front post double skip the first double double into the second double chain four and double into the second double again and skip the third double and repeat that sequence until you have those little v-stitches 16 times finish round six with a v-stitch into the second double and skip the third double make the front post slip stitch around the chain and start round seven chain one for the first front post single crochet then chain two more one and two go into the chain of four into the v-stitch and make a single crochet and chain two repeat the sequence go to the next front post double crochet make the front post single crochet chain two single crochet into the v-stitch and chain two and repeat that sequence until you have it 16 times front post single around the front post double chain two single into the v-stitch and chain two at the end of round seven we will have 32 little chain spaces finish round seven with a front post slip stitch around the chain and start round eight chain three to replace the first front post double crochet go to the right of the single crochet into that chain space and double crochet two into the chain space one and two double crochet into the single crochet into the left of the single into that chain space also make two doubles one and two so we have the five double crochet and then the chain of three is our front post let's repeat around the front post single make the front post double crochet two doubles into the first chain space one and two a double into the single crochet and two doubles into the second chain space one and two repeat the sequence until you have it 16 times front post double around the front post single two doubles into the first chain space a double into the single and two doubles into the second chain space finish round eight with two doubles into the last chain space make the front post slip stitch behind the chain of three and through the loop and start round nine with a chain of three to replace our first front post double crochet skip the first double make a v-stitch into the second double with a double four chains and a double skip the third double and make another v-stitch into the fourth double with a double crochet four chains and a double crochet and skip the fifth double crochet we made two v-stitches now you can repeat make a front post double crochet around the previous front post double crochet skip the first double make the v-stitch into the second double with a double four chains and a double skip the third double and make the second v-stitch into the fourth double with a double four chains and a double skip the fifth double and now you can repeat that sequence until you have it 16 times make a front post double around the front post double skip the first double make a v-stitch into the second double with a double four chains and a double skip the third double and make the second v-stitch into the fourth double with a double four chains and a double and skip the fifth double we will have 32 v-stitches finish round nine with a v-stitch into the fourth double skip the fifth double and make the front post slip stitch around the chain and start round 10 with a chain of one to replace our first front post single crochet then chain two more one and two single crochet into the chain of four of the first v-stitch chain three single crochet into the chain of four of the second v-stitch and chain two let's repeat make the front post single crochet around the front post double crochet chain two single into the chain of four the first v-stitch chain three in between the two v-stitches we always chain three make the single around the chain of four of the second v-stitch 
and chain two. One more time, front post single around the front post double, chain two, single into the first V-stitch, chain three, single into the second V-stitch, and chain two. This way we make three chain spaces 16 times, so 48 chain spaces all together. Finish round 10 with a chain of two, make the front post slip stitch behind the chain and through the loop and start round 11 with a chain of three to replace our first front post double crochet. Go into the very first chain space, the chain space of two and make two doubles into it. One and two. Go into the next chain space, the chain space of three and make three doubles into it. One, two and three. Then the third chain space, we had two chains, make two doubles into that. One and two. So where we had two chains, we will make two doubles. And where we had three chains, we will make three doubles. Let's repeat. Make the front post double around the front post single of the previous round. Make two doubles into the first chain space of two. Make three doubles into the second chain space of three. And make two doubles into the third chain space of two. And now you can repeat that pattern until the end of the round. Make the front post double, then make two doubles in the first space, three doubles in the second space, and two doubles into the third space. Finish round 11 with two doubles into the last chain space. Make the front post slip stitch around the chain and start round 12. Chain three to replace the first front post double crochet. Skip the first double and make the V-stitch into the second double with a double crochet four chains and a double crochet into the second double. Skip to the second out of the three doubles we made into the second chain space. Go into the second double and make a front post double around it. Then make another V-stitch. Skip the third double. Then go into the first out of the two doubles we made into the last chain space and make your V-stitch with a double, a chain of four and a double crochet into the same stitch and skip the second double, start over. Make the front post double around the previous front post double. Skip the first double, make the V-stitch into the second double with a double, four chains and a double. Then the next cluster of three doubles, skip to the second double and make a front post double around the second double crochet. And our third cluster of two doubles, go into the first out of the two doubles and make the V-stitch with a double, four chains and a double crochet and skip the last double crochet. Let's go over it one more time. Make a front post double crochet into the previous front post double crochet. Make the V-stitch into the second double with a double, four chains and a double. Skip to the cluster of three doubles into the second out of the three. Make the front post double and skip the third double. Go to the next cluster the last cluster of two doubles into the first double, make the second V-stitch with a double, four chains and a double and skip the second double. At the end of round 12, we have 32 V-stitches. Finish the round, skip the last double crochet and make a front post slip stitch around the chain. And start round 13 with one chain to replace the front post single crochet, then chain two more. One, two, make a single crochet into the first V-stitch, chain two, Go in between the two doubles where the front post double is and make a front post single crochet. Chain two and single crochet into the second V-stitch and chain two. Let's repeat. Make the front post single crochet around the front post double crochet. Chain two, single crochet into the first V-stitch and chain two. Make the front post single crochet around the next front post double crochet and chain two and single crochet into the second V-stitch and chain two. And one more time, front post single around the front post double, chain two, single into the first V-stitch, chain two, front post single around the next front post double, chain two, single into the second V-stitch and chain two. At the end of this round, we have 16 times four, so 64 chain spaces. Finish round 13 with a front post slip stitch around the chain and also make another slip stitch into the first chain space. So we start round 14 a little differently. We will turn our circle into a square now. Grab four markers, 
to mark the four corners. As you can see, we have 16 front posts, double crochet going all the way around. Place your first marker into the front post slip stitch all the way on top. Next to the slip stitch, we made into the chain space that will be our first corner. Then count one, two, three, four more front posts and into the fourth front post right on top, put the marker for the second corner. Count one, two, three, four front posts again and put the marker for the third corner on the very top of the stitch. Then count four again. One, two, three, four front posts and put the marker on top of it. Now let's double check. We have one, two, three, four front posts and right there's our first marker and our first corner. So everything is correct. I made a little stitch diagram to help us along. So in between two markers, we have four big spaces. One, two, three, four, but we also have those little front posts right there. So we can divide those four spaces into eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight spaces. Now let's make the stitches that go into our first space. Our first space is in between those two front posts. We have to make three treble crochet into the first space. Chain four to replace the first treble crochet. Yarn over twice, treble crochet into the single and treble crochet into the chain space of two. Then if you look, we have to make a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet. Go into the front post single and make the front post treble and our first space is complete. Let's see our second space. We have to make three doubles again into the first chain space, a double into the single and a double into the second chain space in a front post double around the single right here. Front post double around the front post single crochet in our second space is complete. The third space, we have to make three half doubles a half double into the first chain space, half double into the single, and half double into the second chain space, and then a front post half double around the front post single crochet. And our third space is complete. Our fourth space gets three singles. Single into the first chain space, single into the single crochet, and single into the second chain space and make a front post single crochet around the previous front post single crochet. Our fifth space gets three single crochet, single into the first chain space, single into the single and single into the second chain space. If you notice, our stitches have gotten smaller and now they will get bigger again. So we basically are doing the same stitches, but in reverse. We made our three single crochet into space number five. Now make a front post half double crochet around the front post single crochet and move to space number six where we have to make three half double crochet, a half double into the first chain space, half double into the single and half double into the second chain space. Then make a front post double crochet around the front post single crochet and move to space number seven where we have to make three double crochet double crochet into the first chain space double crochet into the single and double crochet into the second chain space now we have to make a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet and we are at our last space space number eight where we make three treble crochet Make the first treble crochet into the first chain space, the second treble into the single, and the third treble into the second chain space. And we are at our second marker for our second corner. Now all we have to do is make a chain of four for the corner space. One, two, three, and four. And our first side is complete. We filled our eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's make the second side the same way.
We made our last treble crochet to the right of the marker. Now go to the left of the marker into the chain space of two and start your three stitches, your three trebles. Make the first treble into the first chain space, the second treble into the single crochet, and the third treble into the second chain space. And make a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet. Move to space number two. Make three doubles, the first one into the first chain space, the second one into the single, and the third double into the second chain space. And make a front post double crochet around the front post single crochet. And move to space number three, where we make three half doubles, the first one into the first chain space, the second one into the single, and the third one into the second chain space. Make a front post half double crochet around the front post single crochet and move to your fourth space. We make three singles, the first single into the first chain space, the second one into the single and the third single into the second chain space and make a front post single crochet around the previous front post single crochet. Move to the fifth space, make one single crochet into the first chain space, the second single into the single and the third single into the second chain space. And now we will work in reverse order. Make a front post, half double crochet around the front post single crochet. Move to your sixth space. Make the first half double in your first space. The second half double into your single crochet. And the third half double into the second chain space. And make a front post double crochet around the front post single crochet and move to space number seven. Make three doubles, the first one into the first chain space, the second one into the single, and the third one into the second chain space. Make a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet. And we're out at our last space, space number eight. Make the first treble into the first chain space, second treble into the single, and a third treble into the second chain space. And we are at our next marker. All we have to do is chain four. One, two, three, four for the corner space and then start the third side. Start your third side to the left of the marker. As you noticed, each of the eight spaces has always three stitches. Three stitches in between the front post and the three stitches always go into the first chain space, the single and the second chain space. You can start the first space and make three trebles into that first space. Then make a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet. Make three doubles into space number two and a front post double crochet around the front post single crochet. Make three half double crochet into space number three and a front post half double crochet around the front post single crochet. Single crochet three into space number four and make the front post single around the previous front post single. Single crochet three into space five and make the front post half double crochet around the front post single crochet. Make three half double crochet into space number six and a front post double crochet around the previous front post single crochet. Space number seven gets three doubles and a front post treble crochet around the front post single crochet. In the last space, space number eight, we make three treble crochet, then chain four and then start the fourth side again with the first space right there and repeat the same stitches. Finish the fourth side with three treble crochet into the eighth space and we will finish this round a little differently. Instead of chaining four, yarn over twice then go into the fourth chain one, two, three, four and make a treble crochet. And now we can start round 15 right here in this space. Let's take a look. Our square is starting to shape up. Start round 15 with a chain of 4 for the first treble crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, then make 2 more trebles into the space. 1 and 2. Chain 3. And make three more treble crochet into the same space. One, two, and three. I left our little stitch diagram up because now we will make exactly the same stitches as we did in the previous round. 
So when we make trebles, we make trebles. When we make doubles, we make doubles and so on. So first we have to make three trebles. Make the first treble into the fourth chain. Remember we made the chain of four to replace our first treble crochet. Make you three trebles. One, two, and three. Make the front post treble crochet around the previous front post treble crochet. Then double crochet three into the next three doubles. One, two, and three. Make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. Make three half double crochet into the next three half doubles. Make sure to grab the right stitches. Only front loop and back loop. One, two, and three. Front post half double crochet around the previous front post half double crochet. To the right of it, I go underneath three pieces of yarn, but to the left of it, I just go underneath the front and the back loop because it's such a small stitch. And I go around that stitch that way. Make the front post half double, and now we have to make three single crochets on the yarn over. One, two, and three singles into the previous three singles. And another small stitch here, make the front post single around the previous front post single, and again on the right side, I go underneath the three pieces of yarn and on the left side of the stitch I just go underneath the front and the back loop and make the front post that way. Then make three singles into the previous three singles and again make sure you grab in the right stitches. One, two, and three. Then make the front post half double crochet around the previous one. I grab the three pieces of yarn to the right of it. And I can go underneath the three pieces of yarn to the left of it and make the half double, the front post half double. Then half double crochet three into the previous three half doubles. And I have to be careful here. Just go into the front loop and back loop. Make three half doubles. One, two, and three. Make a front post double crochet around the previous front post double crochet. Then double crochet three into the previous three doubles. One, two, and three. Make the front post treble around the previous front post treble. And our last three stitches are trebles, so we're making trebles. Three trebles. One, two, And three. Then make a second corner, move to the chain space and repeat, make three trebles, three chains and three trebles into the corner space. In this round we make three trebles, three chains and three trebles into all of our corner spaces. And now you can repeat that pattern on the other three sides and the corners. Make the corners with three trebles three chains and three trebles. Then make three trebles into the previous three trebles. Make the front post treble, three doubles, the front post double, three half doubles, the front post half double, three singles, the front post single, three singles, the front post half double, three half doubles, the front post double, three doubles, the front post treble crochet and then three treble crochet into the last three trebles and the corners again with three trebles, three chains and three trebles. Finish round 15. We have a small chain on the bottom, count that one, two, three, four. Make a slip stitch into the fourth chain, into the next treble and into the next treble and into the chain space. If you want to double check your stitch count, not counting the slip stitch, you should have 37 stitches. Now we will make three more rounds. Let's start round 16. Chain three for the first double crochet and make two more doubles into the corner space. One and two. So we have three doubles. 
chain three and then make three more doubles into the corner space and those are our new corners three doubles three chains and three doubles make a double into the next stitch and into the next stitch then make a front post into the one two three around the third stitch if you look we have three stitches in between the front posts one two three one two three so we have also here one two three before we make the front post go into the next stitch and make a double crochet chain one skip one and make a double crochet into the next stitch and around the previous front post also make a front post double crochet so all the front posts are on top of one another make a double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one make a double and a front post double around the previous front post double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one make a double and make a front post double around the previous front post make eight chain spaces and nine front post doubles let's double check we have eight chain spaces one two three four five six seven eight and nine front post doubles one two three four five six seven eight nine that leaves two stitches left and like on the beginning where we made the two doubles then the front post now we do it in reverse we have the front post and now we make two doubles make two doubles into the next two stitches one and two and then make your usual corner make three doubles three chains and three doubles into the corner and now we repeat the same pattern on the second side double crochet into the first stitch and into the second stitch make the front post double crochet around the third stitch double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one make a double and repeat front post double crochet around the previous front post make a double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one double crochet into the next stitch and make a front post double crochet around the previous front post finish the second side make eight chain spaces and nine front post double crochet another way you can check yourself in between the front post double crochet in the corner here and here we have five doubles over here on the right side and five doubles on the left side three of them are in the corner here and three of them are in the corner over there so we made the second side make the third corner the same way with three doubles three chains and three doubles make the third side with the eight chain spaces and the nine front post double crochet then make the fourth corner with three doubles three chains and three doubles and start the fourth side make eight chain spaces and eight front post double crochet we will make the ninth front post double crochet together so here's my eighth front post double crochet the double the chain and the double crochet we have three stitches left and we will make our ninth front post double crochet around the chain of three make your final and ninth front post double crochet around the chain of three then ignore the slip stitches make a double crochet into the treble crochet below go underneath the slip stitch directly into the treble and make a double crochet and do that again make a double into the treble crochet ignore the slip stitch finish the round with four slip stitches into the third chain into the next double crochet into the next double crochet and into the chain space and start round 17. make your corner with a chain of three two doubles a chain of three and three doubles into the chain space double crochet into the first stitch and make a front post double crochet into the second stitch so we're shifting our pattern a little bit but if you look we still have three double crochet in between the two front posts double crochet continue the pattern make a double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one make a double 
and repeat make the front post double crochet around the previous front post double crochet double crochet into the double chain one double crochet into the double and make a front post double crochet around the front post and notice that the chain spaces and front posts are on top of one another this time add two more spaces and make 10 chain spaces one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and make 11 front post doubles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven make your 11th front post double crochet into the second to last double make the double into the last double of the previous round and then make your corner with three doubles three chains and three doubles and start the second side with a double into the first double and a front post double into the second double so now you have four doubles on the right side and four doubles on the left side three of them are in the corner here and there so in this round we have 10 chain spaces and 11 front post double crochet on each side and in the corners we have three double crochet three chains and three double crochet now let's finish the fourth side together i started the fourth side and i made nine chain spaces one two three four five six seven eight nine so i have to make one more and i made 10 front posts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have to make one more of those as well and we can finish together here's my 10th front post double crochet and i have five stitches left one two three four five make a usual pattern make the double crochet into the next stitch next to the front post chain one skip one double crochet into the third chain one two three ignore the slip stitch again just go underneath and make the double crochet into the third chain make the front post double around the next double that's the second to last double and then ignore the step slip stitch again and make a double into the previous double crochet and we can make our four slip stitches again to finish the round into the third chain into the next double crochet into the next double and into the chain space and we can start our last round round 18 make your corner again with a chain of three two doubles a chain of three and three doubles into the corner space and then start this time we make the front post double around the first double so we have the front post three stitches again and another front post now double into the next double chain one skip one make a double make the front post double around the front post double a double into the next double chain one double into the next double and a front post double around the front post double and repeat that sequence this time make 12 chain spaces and 13 front post doubles make your 13th front post double into the last double of the previous round then make your corner with three doubles three chains and three doubles and start the pattern up Make the first front post double crochet into the first double crochet let's finish the fourth side together i made 11 chain spaces so i have to make one more and i made 12 front post double crochet so i have to make one more here's my 12th front post double crochet and i have four stitches left over let's continue with our regular pattern make a double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one make a double into the second to last double underneath the slip stitch again and then a front post double around the last double crochet and we will finish this round a little differently with an invisible join so we have a correct stitch count cut the yarn and pull a loop out of the last double and thread a needle skip over the chain of three and go into the next double crochet through both loops from the front to the back then top down into the last double through the back loop and that little back bump and you can sew on your loose end towards the left now our first square is complete and you can make three more just like the first one you can block or iron your square with very very low heat if you have a curl but the curl will completely go away once we add the border we will do that in the second part and i'll see you there bye bye